praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Mr. Uh, Joanne. The Lord has spoken with me. Um, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Hoseinu, the God of Israel, he has spoken with me again. And uh, in this series of conversations, the Lord spoke twice. Uh, yesterday at night, the Lord spoke. And again, the Lord has spoken today. And speaking to me about the region where he is sending me to. That region of the Caribbean and the French Guiana. And in this conversation, the first part of the conversation, the Lord took quite a bit of time in today, showing me that the area he is sending me to has so much sexual sin. The Lord took me to the French Guiana and the Caribbean, and he began to show me so much sexual sin that is in that area. And there is so much sexual sin involving men and women. The point he also showed me now the younger. Of course, I can see the beach, the water body. I can see the ocean, the beach, and the hotels. I can see the tall hotels by the beach. And there was so much sexual sin going on in the entire land and in those beaches of tourism. And I see at this place, several places, he takes me now. The Lord now takes me from hotel room to hotel room, from home to home. And I see how everybody is in sexual sin in the entire land. So the land is in sexual sin. And then also very young girls, very young girls are involved in that sexual sin. This is what the Lord took me there and showed me. But there is so much sexual sin in the land and everywhere. These are like centers of sexual sin where everybody all over the world goes there for sexual sin, sexual immorality, to commit sin there. Sexual perversion, to commit sin there. I remember yesterday he spoke about sexual sin again. And in that sexual sin, there were these tourists are making registration and one man with many women, with some older. And now again today, he shows me sexual sin all over the land. I see this tall hotel and I see the water body. I see now the ocean. Those hotels built by the ocean uh, where somebody can stand at the balcony and name it. And all throughout the rooms, the home, sexual sin, people are busy committing sexual sin in that land. It is like that land is sexual sin central. It's a center for sexual immorality. The Lord showed me the land he is sending me to, that area of the world, French Guiana and the Caribbean there. And then after that, now today in the day here, the Lord again lifted me up, slayed me and lifted me up and took me to the Caribbean in the day today, when 11 o'clock in the morning towards 2 p.m. And again, showed me tremendous sexual sin between men and young girls. There are these girls I see wearing hats. They are very young. They are wearing hats. And the Lord shows me how now those girls are in lesbian. We see them kissing each other and all that. So the Lord also now raises sexual sin and he raises homosexuality, lesbianism, and all that. I see now these women, these girls, they are young. They are wearing hats, but they are lesbian. 
So again, now the Lord speaks about sexual perversion, sexual sin, the committing of sin, sexual sin, uh, the committing of lesbianism. Now the Lord raises that to his servant. He raises it to me. He shows me that. So the Lord is showing me, look, the land where I am sending you is a land of sexual sin. It is the center of sexual sin and sexual immorality. Because relentlessly now you see he has been speaking, speaking the region I'm sending you to, the Caribbean, and I am going to French Guiana, so you can imagine all the neighboring there that he took me around and showed me sexual sin, sexual immorality. That is where people go to commit sexual sin. They go there to commit sexual sin. And I fear, now I fear, that as the Lord sends me to that region, there might be judgment coming to that region. In other words, the Lord is calling for repentance in the entire of that region, that the people may repent and recognize Jesus as their Lord and prepare for the glorious coming of the Son of God, the Messiah. The Lord is saying, in other words, that he has created all the islands, all the regions of the earth, and they owe him a worship. They owe him. The nations owe the Lord a worship, a holy worship. He created even all those people that he is sending me to. So they owe him a worship. That's what the Lord is saying. A holy worship. And he's saying that now that he's sending me there, they have to repent and turn away from sin. And especially sexual sin that has kidnapped, has taken ransom those nations and islands of the Caribbean. And the Lord has spoken relentlessly, continuously, consistently, and and, unwaveringly. He has continued to speak on a daily basis about sexual sin in this region that he's sending me to. And that is a big indictment to the church also, because the Lord then is asking questions about the role of the church, the authority of the church to purge the land of sexual sin, the power and the authority of the pastor, of the servant. In other words, the church is the light of the nation, the light of the world. And so, I can see the heart of the Lord crying out for the people the Caribbean and the people of Frank Green and the entire area that they may repent and return to him because he is raising the, the, the rotten state of the lands, the lands there and there, the region where sexual sin is the, is the hallmark, is the order, is the identity of that region whereby people travel now from all over the world to go there to commit sexual sin. And he has taken me all over the land repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly before I leave to show me, look, they are in sexual sin. And I remember in the conversation before this one, he also showed me the earthquake that takes place and he puts me in there and I run with them. And somewhere we're asking for cafe, cafe, and they were speaking Spanish. They were speaking Spanish when I was running there. That means the islands around there. When I was running there, they, they were speaking Spanish. I was running. We, I ran. I ran with them. And we, the cafecito, uh, you see, they were speaking to us. I was speaking to them in, in Spanish. They were speaking to me in Spanish also. And so my fear is that if these nations don't repent, the Lord is going to judge those nations. That reminds me very much of when I went to the island of Hispaniola, the same region, when the Lord sent me to the same region, and he spoke before he sent me to the Dominican Republic. He spoke and spoke again and spoke again and again about sexual sin. Before I went, that's 2009, from 22nd of November all the way to 29th of November, and he warned about sexual sin 
sexual sin even in the church. Even the pastors are involved in it. Sexual sin. Sexual sin. The Lord has warned against sexual sin. He warned at that time, and I went and warned all the way in the Dominican Republic, in that island, I said a heavy earthquake is coming. A heavy earthquake is coming. An earthquake is coming. Please repent. Please repent. Puerto Plata, Santiago. I went all the way to, to, uh, to different cities. Higwe. Warning in the Dominican Republic. Warning that an island. In that island, an earthquake was coming. And the key item the Lord had raised before I left was sexual sin, sexual sin, sexual sin, and sexual sin, and more sexual sin. He raised it. And I see a repeat of the same thing, that the Lord is raising sexual sin before I leave. That in that region you go to, I was speaking Spanish, you see, it's sexual sin. In that whole area, from the French Guiana to the Trinidad, to all the islands of the Caribbean, Central America, there are sexual sin, sexual sin, sexual sin, the islands and the beaches of sexual sin. Today, twice, twice, taking me and bringing me back, and then sleeping again, then taking me there again. Sexual sin, sexual sin, sexual sin, including homosexuality. I see these two girls, they're actually three women, the other one's older, but the two girls, and they do it, they kiss each other. The, the Lord takes me there, and they're involved in homosexuality, they're involved in lesbianism. So my fear is, last time when I went and warned, then the Haiti earthquake took place. The words of my tongue became fulfilled to the letter, and it became historic as I, as I said. And my fear is, I have seen an earthquake in that region again, and I'm heading there. And the Lord is sending me there with a warning on sexual sin. Sexual sin, sexual sin, sexual sin. Meaning repentance. Repentance, repentance, repentance. I fear that as I head there, it may not be well there. The Lord is saying that as I go there, I need to call those nations to national repentance. Call them to go back to Jesus. That having taken his son Jesus to the cross, the nations he created... And the people he created and placed in those nations too, they owe him a holy repentance with their lives. That is the message coming from here. And in that repentance, there is a warning that there is an earthquake coming. He is warning that if they don't repent, an earthquake is coming. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 7, that in these days there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Those are the signs for the coming of the Messiah. However, Daniel said, Daniel 12, he said, verse 1, that, however, those whose names will be found written in the book will be delivered. So even in the Vicky, even in the distress, even in the, in, in the, uh, the distress of this hour, whether be it earthquake or what, that the Lord brings. However, those whose names found written in the book, they will be delivered in that distress. And so the Lord is encouraging the nation. He is sending me to command them, not to negotiate with them, not to bargain with them, not to beg them, not to discuss it with them, but to pronounce forth that sexual sin has kidnapped the worship that they own the Lord. And that this is the hour for those nations, the French Guiana and all the Trinidad, as you move up, the whole of that, uh, the, I look at the whole Caribbean, the, Latin, the, the Spanish speaking also there, and that this hour is the hour for repentance, and no nation can afford to ignore this voice, says the Lord. It says, behold, this is the hour to return to the Lord regardless of how sinful the nations have been, because he wants to bring forth revival and a greater visitation and open heavens in the reign of the Holy Spirit, that the nations may be in the latter glory that was promised in the Bible. It was promised to be realized. Once the Bible promised it, it will realize, like you see it in Kenya. 
that all the nations are entitled to this revival. It is not an exclusive of Kenya. And Kenya began by repentance. And so that's why the Lord has now raised forth a warning as he sent me to this region. Tell them to repent from sexual sin and sexual profession. That nobody enters heaven through sexual sin. However, through repentance and the holy worship unto the Lord, they will see the eternal kingdom of God after this temporary life on the earth is finally finished and over. After time has come to an end, after time surrenders, we will have to go into eternity. And so this message of warning, that if they don't repent, you are going to shake them with an earthquake. This message here is love. The Messiah is coming. And for the other nations that are tuned in globally right now, you too can claim for your moment for the Lord to speak to your nation. You may be hearing the Lord now rebuking the Caribbean nations, the French Guiana and the Trinidad and the rest. However, the Lord is engaging them. He's engaging with them right now. And this gives them an opportunity to reverse their course and return to the holiness of the Lord. The highway of holiness of Isaiah 35 verses 8 and 9. Those other nations too, the United States, Canada, Europe, wherever, Africa, that are tuned in, Australia, you too now can take this moment when the Lord is speaking to these other nations and cry to the Lord and tell him, Lord, speak to us too. We also belong to heaven. And then you too may be drawn into this repentance revival. However, as I head to that side of the world, the Lord has raised sexual sin, sexual sin, sexual sin, and more sexual sin. He has raised that, and he has raised it as in those, that is central, sexual sin central, the center of sexual sin on the earth. And I've seen the earthquake, the tremor, meaning the Lord is saying, if you don't repent, there will be an earthquake. And that only reminds me of the same mission he sent me to when he brought the Haiti earthquake, before he brought it. And so really, we are sitting at a verge, at the verge of a major shaking in that area, if they don't repent. How awesome is our God that he gives us the exit strategy, the way out, that if you repent, I will relent, I will relent. So prepare the way, even as we leave now to the French Guiana, that the Messiah is coming, that you may be ready for eternity with the Messiah, eternity of peace. Nobody wants to spend eternity in hell with the devil, Satan. So the Lord is using this voice to awaken the nations, awaken those nations and tell them, look, you belong to the kingdom of God. You were created by Jehovah. The devil never ever created anybody. And that the church has now to rise up and behold her moment of revival and the authority that it holds, authority that it wields, authority that that revival bestows on the church, that they may be able to purge the land, clean out the land, that they may be known as lands and islands of revival, not sexual sin. May the Lord bless those that are here. May they listen and hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Shalom.